the behavior question is in terms of uh, handling a difficult a co-worker so co-worker here in this case we already talked about developer now we are talking about your own co-worker tester you may be finding difficulty in handling a certain co-worker tester as well maybe the co-worker is senior tester or a tester it is very sometimes it is becomes very difficult to handle them maybe because of again uh, attitude issues ego issues it could be behavior pattern or maybe he is not a good team player if there could be other reasons might be there then i will tackle the that kind of uh, coworker or maybe he is not fit for the role or is a lack of uh, knowledge is there in particular area maybe because of that uh, he is not working as expected or he is not delivering the right quality of work which you are expecting now how will you handle this situation this is a certain example i providing maybe you have to put forth your own examples you should come up with a detailed plan have a regular one on one with that guy understand what is really the problem you should go you should check the root cause of that issue why is behaving like that what is the rationale behind it why is not delivering the right things unless if you are not doing all those aspects you cannot judge any person saying that that person is very difficult to handle you should do a right things you should help the other resources also when you are able to help that person is also be becomes more productivity when when that person start producing more result then that is a validation for that guy as well for you as well even after doing all this aspect still that person is not improving then you have other channel like escalating mechanism test manager test lead you can go and talk to them at least first as a first step you should take care of uh, tester by talking individually by helping by coaching by mentoring right in various aspects you can uh, explain in this way to your interviewer this is how i solved the problem of handling a difficult coworker especially a difficult co-tester give me a certain example or certain task which are very critical but uh, you're able to complete those tasks very faster way and after completing it you might have got appreciations as well that interior wants to find out how good you are in handling the critical situation how you are able to deliver the things in a critical situation they just wanted to understand is there any examples in the previous experience now i will you answer this question again you should take up some examples from your past experience and you should present that in a more uh, actionable way and more uh, result oriented way then only your interview will get convinced that this is how i solved the problem so i have taken certain example like uh, doing a certain analysis like uh, there are particular area i was getting uh, more defects especially few particular modules were getting lot of defects more often now we wanted to understand why it is happening now i did complete root cause analysis on a particular modules and i am able to identify out of 10 modules only one or two modules i am getting more uh, issues because of so and so reasons by doing root cause analysis of every defects we can easily identify what is the problem then after doing all the root cause analysis i presented that to development team this is what my analysis all about this is what the results of my analysis this is what i am recommending based on that uh, rca then definitely developers and your stakeholders other management people they will really appreciate that effort because you have taken extra mile and you are able to convince the developer by doing detailed root cause analysis because of that developer put the right plan and is able to fix certain aspects based on your root cause analysis then post that if uh, number of defects are reduced in those area then definitely it's a big achievements definitely i got uh, appreciation because of that if you are able to explain in that way in a more uh, accomplishment perspective more actionable results result oriented way then definitely interviewer will be very happy with your answer give me certain examples when you are very unhappy or we are upset with your test lead or test manager again this is also a question which they wanted to understand uh, how good you are uh, in terms of positivity or a constructive person or you are just upset because of negative remarks now it may happen that uh, there are real situation might be there you cannot say all the time uh, we are uh, bad test lead and test managers are good it may happen that uh, there are situation uh, testers will really upset themselves 
it could be various reasons there could be the higher expectation or micromanagement may, they, may be there or it could be people skill issues management skills issue or maybe certain person may not be knowing testing skills or various reasons as well i have taken uh, one example to quote here is uh, uh, maybe the test lead and test manager is not testing the uh, particular test uh, or uh, they are doing uh, too much micromanagement and uh, they have higher expectation which is not realistic one now if this is the situation then definitely the tester will get into a upset mode now how will you confront your tester or a test manager with this kind of situation that is what the interior is expecting from your answer now unless if you are not bringing uh, enough data points why you are feeling yourself uh, you are upset because of so and so reason why you are not happy with the micromanagement or why you are not uh, happy with the unrealistic uh, expectation you should come up with uh, enough examples to prove that uh, this is how you are feeling and this is how you are thinking this can be avoidable certain micromanagement is not really required or certain uh, unrealistic goals why we cannot achieve also if you are able to explain with the data points definitely your uh, test manager or test leads will definitely will understand maybe the journey is not one day maybe you have to put forth uh, your thought process your uh, way of talking with them on a regular basis they will start testing about you they will once you are doing all these things you both test manager and test leads will start uh, testing you and they stop doing more micromanagement with you unless uh, uh, if you are not uh, trustworthy then they will do micromanagement if you are able to do enough way with uh, enough showcasing enough data points definitely they will stop doing the micromanagement way this is how you should explain and how you handled uh, this kind of situation when you are upset with your test manager or test lead with your interviewer maybe you may have different example then you should uh, put forth your thought process in a different way